Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Effingela and Paulus. Papa Paolo. This is a game from the Amsterdam Olympiad, played in 1954. Gela had white pieces and he started with d4. Papa played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, d5. So we have the queen's gambit. Knight to f3, c6, the semi slav defense. Well, Papa avoided the slav defense. He didn't want to meet Gela's gambit. The game continued. e3, knight from b to d7, bishop to d3, bishop to d6, white to move, castling and e4 are the two most played moves. Gela played e4, threatening e5. d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, knight to f6, bishop to c2 and both players castled kingside. Black to move, h6 and c5 are the two most played moves. Papa played c5, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, c takes on d4, queen takes on d4, white is threatening to double the pawns on the f-file, so papa played bishop to e7, queen to h4, h6, white to move. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? By now, after watching the Gela series, you know what kind of move Gela would play in this position. True or false? Gela played a3. Just kidding. Gela played bishop takes pawn on h6. Pawn takes bishop, what else? Queen takes on h6 for the sacrificed piece. White has two pawns plus the attack. Queen to a5, knight to g5, e5, white to move. How would you continue now? Gela played bishop to h7, check, king to h8, bishop to e4, discover the check, king to g8. White can repeat the position and have a draw, but of course, Gela wanted the full point. Rook from a to e1. Bishop to g4, white to move. How would you continue now? Gela played rook to e3, rook from a to d8, white to move and to play the obvious. Rook to g3 was played, rook to d4, white played the move, and black resigned, and the move is knight to e6. Threatening checkmate on g7 with queen. Papa resigned. If f takes on e6, then rook takes on g4. Check. If knight takes on g4, then queen to h7 checkmate. And let's go back. If king goes to f7, then queen to g6 checkmate. Wow, that was such a small attack by Gela. Poor Papa never had a chance. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.